okay so now for the tail we are going to start with six single crochets into the magic ring so i already did that and in our second row we are going to increase in every stitch around so for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to increase and increase in the next stitch too okay and you'll increase in each stitch around okay so now in our third row and now from the third row until the last row which is the 13th row we are going to use the same pattern so we're going to be doing single crochet all the way around and increase in the last stitch and we repeat that until the 13th row so i'll show you for the next two rows so we're going to do single crochet in each row until we have one stitch left okay so do single crochet in every stitch and increase in the last stitch so we have a total of 13 stitches okay and we repeat the same thing in the fourth row so do single crochet until you have one stitch left here so we'll continue single crochet single crochet and continue until you have one stitch left Okay, so in the last stitch here, we're going to do an increase. So we have a total of uh, 14 stitches. So you continue like this, doing single crochet and increasing in the last stitch until you get uh, to the 13th row. Okay, so continue until you get to the 13th row, which is the last row. And in the 13th row, you'll be having a total of 23 stitches. Okay, so I'll see when you reach to the 13th row and then we'll finish up together. Okay, so after you're done with the 13th row, this is how your tail should look like. Okay, and then we're going to go into the next stitch, slip stitch, and cart a yarn, a tail long enough for sewing. Okay, and, and then after that, after that, you're going to stuff your tail all the way here to the top or until it's full. Okay, so now we're going to make the arms. So for the arms, we're going to make two pieces and we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochets into the magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then pull the yarn. Okay, now in the next row, we are going to increase every stitch around so we're going to increase in the first stitch and increase also in the next stitch and increase all the way round okay so after that now in our third row we are going to work in the back loop only and we are going to work single crochet all the way round. So you are going to go into the back loop of the next stitch and do single crochet. Also in the back loop of the next do single crochet. So if you don't know what the back loop is, it's this stitch and the other one. So this is the front loop and this is the back loop. So we are working only in this loop. So you're just going to continue 
doing single crochet in the back loop of all the stitches so we have a total of 12 single crochets Okay, and then now in the fourth row, which is the last row of the arm, it's quite easy. We are going to do single crochet all the way round. So you're going to do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and continue all the way to the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, now we're going to go into the next stitch, slip stitch and cart a yarn long enough for sewing, like that. Okay, and then when you're done, you're going to make the other arm the same way as this. Okay, so now we're going to start making the legs. Okay, so for the legs, we're going to start with the same way as all the other parts. So you're going to start with six single crochet into the magic ring i already did that so in our second row we're going to increase every stitch around so we'll have 12 stitches so increase and increase and increase in every stitch round okay so now in our third row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet and increase in the next stitch and then single crochet and increase and you continue this pattern all the way round Okay, so now in our fourth row, we are going to work in the back loop only and we are going to do single crochet all the way round. Okay, so you're going to go into the back loop of the next stitch, do single crochet and continue in the back loop of every stitch. Okay, so do single crochet in the back loop only all the way round. Okay, so now in our fifth row, uh, we're going to do single crochet all the way around to the end for a total of 18 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, do single crochet in every stitch round. Okay, so now in our sixth row, which is the last row of the leg, we are going to do four single crochet, then decrease and repeat three times. So we'll do four single crochet. One, two, three, four, and decrease. And repeat that, four single crochets. and decrease and one last time four single crochets and decrease okay and then after that we are going to go into the next stitch slip stitch and cut a yarn long enough for sewing okay so don't forget also to stuff both your leg and your arm before attaching to the body parts okay and then after that i'm going to show you how to do the spikes so the little spikes on the tail and the head okay so the spikes we are going to do five of them and we are going to use a different color so in my case i'm going to use um this orange color 
So for the spikes, we're going to use a different color. So in my case, I'm going to use this orange color. And we are going to start with the magic ring. And four single crochets into the magic ring. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. And then in the second row, we're going to do single crochet increase and repeat two times for a total of six stitches. So we're going to do single crochet and increase in the next. And then repeat that one more time, single crochet. and increase in the next stitch okay now in our third row we are going to do two single crochet and increase two times so two single crochets and increase and then repeat one more time two single crochets and increase And in the fourth row, which is the last row, we're going to do three single crochet increase two times. So three single crochet, one, two, three, increase. Again, three single crochets. One, two, three, and increase. Okay, and then we're going to, since this is the last stitch, we're going to go to the next stitch, slip stitch, and leave a yarn long enough for sewing. So this is one little spike that we have, as you can see. So you're going to make four more. You'll have a total of five. Okay, so now we'll make um, the nose and then we finish up. Okay, so the nose, we're going to use the main body color and we're going to start with six single crochets into the magic ring. And then in the next row, we are going to increase in every stitch around. Okay, so we're going to increase and increase in the next stitch too. Increase and continue increasing in every stitch round. Now in our third row, we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all around for a total of 18 stitches so we do single crochet then increase single crochet and increase okay and repeat this all the way round okay so now in our fourth row we are going to work in the back loop only so we'll do single crochet in the back loops only so we'll do single crochet single crochet ok 
okay and we'll repeat this all the way round okay so continue with the single crochet in the back loop all the way round okay so now in the fifth row which is the last row we are going to do single crochets all the way round so we do single crochet single crochet okay and continue with the single crochet to the end okay so when we are done we are going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing so remember when we're sewing uh, the nose too when we are touching the nose we are going to feel also here with the fiber feel okay so now I'll explain how to attach all the parts together okay so guys as you can see I've already finished attaching all the parts together so what you do first is you attach the head to the body make sure all the stitches are adjacent to each other and then after that when you're attaching um when you're touching the body make sure the decreasing part is at the back you know the line that we formed due to decreasing make sure it's here at the back okay and then after that i attached my tail and the tail the increasing part is supposed to be at the top because it's supposed to go down like that and then uh, after that I attached my the mouth over here and the mouth you attach it from the one two three four the fourth row from the bottom of the head over here like that and then um, after that you have to make sure the hands and the legs are in line like that so the leg should be at the very bottom so from the first second in the second row from the bottom of the body same with this other side and if i may count if this helps there are one two three four five six six stitches apart from each other and also for the hands make sure you attach them right on top of the legs so make sure they are in line like this and same case with this one also for the spikes you attach them uh, one at the top of the head and then you can uh, separate them however you want you can also make more you can make them close to each other you can fill all these gaps okay and for the eyes as you can see you have to make sure the the nose it's in the middle of both uh, eyes like that okay so guys i hope you enjoyed me making this pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and i'll try my best to answer them and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to support me and until next time bye